Uh, Vitaly asked, project managers have many meetings, discussions, long work days, so it's really difficult to get to sleep at the end of the day. How do you have healthy sleep? And do you have any proven techniques that the top project managers are using? And, and I'm going to add my own ad lib here to basically shut your brain off at night because sometimes you come home and you're just constantly thinking of all the things you have to do. Reed, what do you think? Uh, I would often come home from work and I would be really stressed. And it wasn't just because everyone has different stressors in their lives. Mine was with my job at that particular moment in time. And sometimes you just have to turn the cell phone off, go for a run if you're into fitness. I always found that going out for a workout was really beneficial for me and my mental health. I also think that sleep hygiene, if you create a schedule for yourself, it's really beneficial. Turn the cell phone off 30 minutes before you go to bed, drink some tea, chill. Just let your mind calm down and relax. If you're constantly thinking about things, I know it's easier said than done, but you just have to remove yourself from that. And uh, melatonin works wonders. I'm a big fan. That's all I've got. Yeah, I will tell you, I'm probably the wrong person to ask on this, Vitaly, because I am a diagnosed insomniac from years of being a cybersecurity guy and a project manager. So I'm probably the wrong person to answer. Um, I will tell you what my doctors always told me, and it's a lot of what Reed said. Don't drink caffeine after five o'clock. If you're really sensitive to caffeine, stop drinking caffeine after lunch. And that's what I did. So for me, after lunchtime, I would not drink soda or tea or coffee because it would keep me up at night. When I got done for the day, one of the things I started doing that helped me a lot was at the end of my day, I would spend the last 20 to 30 minutes writing out my plan for tomorrow. And this really helped me a lot because otherwise what would happen is I would get home. And even if I'm sitting there having dinner with my wife and kids, or I'm playing with the kids, or I'm playing video games or something like that, it's still in my mind going, oh, tomorrow I got to make sure I call Joe and make sure that the routers are coming in on time. I need to check on that delivery. I need to check on that budget. I need to check with this person. And my mind was just constantly going because my job is to manage all that chaos, right? That's the job of a project manager. And so for me, I was really not good at this. I'll be honest. Over time, I got better at it. I would say that the things that really do help me is if I write it down. I don't know if this has ever happened to you, but me, I'll be laying in bed at three in the morning and a thought will pop in my head. And I won't be able to roll back over and go to sleep unless I write it down. So like literally I have a notepad next to my bed, an old fashioned notepad and a pencil. If I wake up at two, three in the morning, I'll write down the thing that at least it's out of my head. And then I can hopefully roll over and go back to sleep again. But that is a challenge in any management leadership position and project managers are no different. If you're a cybersecurity manager or a SOC director or a CIO or a CTO or a CSO, you still have that same problem where this, the day never stops. And then the other thing I would say, and again, I don't do this myself. I am horrible at this, but what people have told me is if you keep a regular rhythm, like you work nine to five, you sleep from 10 till six or whatever it is, your body gets used to it and your mind can start adjusting to it. And I think doing some self-care and time for yourself is important. So those are some tips that I would use.